Guys, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. Ten days, guys. Ten days left in this mayhem for Christmas. Can't believe it's already that close. Um, there is, you know, there's just two parts to this holiday season. I, I, I think, I think it is. Uh, part one is leading up to it, and then part two is for all the. Um, people that get money and gift cards for Christmas uh, they hit eBay and then they start to buy what they want which is a good thing so sales are always good before and after but uh, it's starting to get tight um, I'm off from my regular job and I don't go back till the second today is the 14th so I've got a nice what's that 19 days actually it was off yesterday 19 days off um, so you're gonna see a lot of me I think I'm gonna be picking doing videos um, and uh, showing you what I'm doing between then and Christmas Eve. So um, back to the $20 challenge, guys. Uh, the purse, I got it for $189. I got three watchers and the VCR, nothing. So I usually, that the purse will sell before um, the VCR, but the VCR may take some time, which is understandable on vintage electronics, and especially Christmas. But um, also I had uh, one of my viewers ask me about promoted listings. Do I, what do I do with them? I don't do them. Not even try. I'm not giving eBay any more money. Um, if you are selling video games and you're selling Super Mario Kart and there's 290 people selling the same thing and you want to bump it to the top, do it. Lose a little bit of margin. That's the only way I would. I sell unique items, people pay for, and um, I don't use it. I, I just don't. I think it's a waste of money. If, if somebody's looking for your item, they'll find it. Uh, and uh, once, like I said, I on other videos. Once you build your reputation in your store, and you've got repeat buyers that are looking for the items that you are selling, uh, you know it won't matter at the end of the day. Though they will buy from you and pay for shipping. Uh, but that's it guys, so I'm heading down, I, I may hit one or two or three, I don't know, I'm hitting a quarter to two, I'm just starting off a little bit later today, I had to get some packing supplies, see in the back, I need boxes and shrink wrap and uh, uh, peanuts, and uh, when I uh, get into this store here, I will, maybe I'll bring my camera, I brought my little uh, GoPro knockoff here, uh, maybe I'll bring it in today and walk around. Alright guys, until I get back in the... Back in the car, um, sorry, I filmed a little bit through the store there uh, just to show you how big the place was and what was going on. Um, when I got to the showcase, I did shut the camera off, I think. I got, I, I cut two great, amazing um, 1996 animated Mickey and Minnie. They were $16.99 each. And the pair will sell for $150. Easy, 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 easy. The medical brace, uh, I got a couple of uh, beautiful Mexican margarita glasses, uh, gorgeous hand painted, they'll sell for sure. Um, I'm going to maybe hit one more, it's 235 
I'll hit the Salvation Army just south of here, see if we can find it. Okay, guys, we're going to go into the uh, Sal uh, Salvation Army near my house, see if we can find anything. Put you in my pocket, see what we can get. Uh, you saw that I just popped in there for a minute I spent nine bucks um, I got the three books the Hunger Games um, and that Nancy Pearl librarian figure I couldn't believe it, it sells for like 20 bucks I got it for 2.99 uh, I got the books for 5.99 they sell from anywhere from 29 to 35 so that's a and they're clean they're in a good shape you know I'll uh, take the stickers off and and uh, we'll, we'll see what we can get for it. One more stop and then to the Hey guys. I just uh, went into the ReStore in Milton here. I didn't bring the camera. I, I, depending who works, they get a little nervous when you bring it in there. So the guy I know, he wasn't in and uh, couldn't cut any deals. There wasn't really much there uh, at all. So you know what? I got what I got. And uh, I'll do a quick recap back at the house later. And... Um, We'll go from there. So, uh, yeah, so I spent a total of what today? 90 bucks and can make, oh, we'll see. I don't know. I've got to add it up. Uh, I'll do that when I get back. We'll talk to you then. Hey, guys, uh, back in the house the next day. I got home and I got overwhelmed with uh, eBay questions. It was a busy night. Um, sales weren't like crazy, crazy, but very good. And, and heading into today, it's Saturday the 15th nine days until Christmas so I wanted to show you um, what I found I'm gonna, sorry I'm gonna do some I'm gonna leave this after this video and do some picking uh, I'm gonna hit a couple of thrift stores today and see what I can find um, one of the viewers Laura I just responded to her she was asking me questions about uh, shipping I don't know what I did with a piece of paper uh, anyways um, she was asking about um, on, on the shipping calculator uh, let's see here, which which was asking me. Got it right here. Uh, Canada Post. Oh, well, uh, the secret here, Laura, you were asking about going, taking your stuff, going into the post office, weighing it, and giving people rates. No, you don't want to do that. You want to set up a Canada Post account. You'll get a little card, like a credit card. It's not a credit card. It's just an ID card. You'll have your account number on there, you'll, and then you'll uh, go on their website, set up a password, and then link that account to your PayPal account. That's where you do your labels, so they can keep track of your sales numbers with them. And then once you get to a certain point, I think it's a 12-month period if you're over $8,000 in shipping with them, or $7,500, then you'll get to the highest level, which is level 4 that I'm on. That's where you get your biggest discount, okay? Uh, and then you set your, your listings up where it's calculated by buyer, various buyers. And then, then on the shipping calculator on the site, I, it's more detail in the email I sent you. Uh, that's where they find their rate. And that's when they, when they buy the item, that's the rate that they pay. And you will make a little bit of money as you sell more and more. As your rates go down Canada Post, you'll make money on shipping. Uh, and then also there's a little thing there for handling guys. If you want to put five bucks, two bucks, 50 cents for handling your time for packing and driving to the post office. Um, and that's that's pretty much it, uh, Laura. You'll see the rest there. Anyways, guys, okay, we'll go with the first thing. Coffee mugs, I keep looking for them. I keep looking for that $100 coffee mug. And I'm having success with these. The ages, 30, 20, 40, 50, 60. This is vintage dude. From a company called Laid Back. This is from 2010. These can, these go up to 30 bucks, guys. These nice uh, mugs that uh, hit these milestones. This one says the the man, the myth, the legend, whatever. Anyways, nice, nice, beautiful mug, pre-owned, great condition. Um, then I was leaving the Value Village, and um, I'm a big 
I love to go to Cabo San Lucas. I'm a big Mexico and a Mexico fan uh, with my family. Been going for a long time. And I saw two of these. And I know what these are. These are hand-blown margarita glasses. Made in Mexico. Hand-painted. $4.99 each. Guys, two of these will sell up to $80 on eBay. Depending on the pattern. This is, uh, I just got a fruit pattern here. Um, but beautiful, blue, beautiful margarita glasses. Look for these guys. People buy them down there in the higher end stores on cruises and whatnot. Bring them home, they never use them. But you can sell them. People love these things. Uh, the next thing on my list, uh, what I found, this was in the showcase. Um, it was there for a long time. They had $39.99 on it. Uh, it's probably been there four weeks. Uh, I know the manager. Like I said, get to know the staff in the thrift stores, especially the managers. They love guys that interact with them and tell them what they're buying. And, and, and when you need a favor, like I did, I asked the manager, $39.99, what's your best price? He gave it to me, $19.99. This sells for $69 to $89 bucks there. Complete 100% guys. Open box, serious radios. Certain ones, you got to look out for them. They sell for big bucks. And easy, easy, easy to flip. Um, I'll show you the big thing last, I think. Crazy Cat Lady action figure. Paid $1.99. Sells for $24.99. Sells for $24.99. Sealed. I don't know what this is. It sells. People buy this thing for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Archie McPhee. I guess it's a, it's a famous character, I guess. Anyways, not up to speed. If you know what it is, maybe let me down below. Now this thing here, Nancy Pearl, the Liberian action figure, I paid a dollar for it. it. It sells up to 30 bucks. It's missing a sticker. It's missing a um, book mark, I think. And there was a card on the back. But in this shape alone, they sell for $17. I grabbed it because it's different. And it's just, like I said, I like to educate myself and look for different things that sell. There is a bigger box set where she's in a, a bigger case of a desk or something, that one sells for big bucks. So if you ever come across this Liberian action figure, Nancy Pearl guys, grab it. It's very strange. Last, in the showcase, same value village, uh, ready to leave, I found two of these. This is the Mickey and I got the Mini. Okay, Mickey and the Mini. This is from 1996, okay, animated. Uh, by a company called Telco Creations. Um, this official Disney licensed item for Christmas. There's a bunch of characters. I can tell you, I paid $16.99 for the Mickey and the Minnie guys each. I'm gonna get close to $89 for them. They're in the box, they're very, very clean. The one you wanna look for is the Goofy. If you can find the Goofy, it's selling for 380 bucks. For some reason, not many more were made, or not a people. A lot of people bought it. Everybody loves Mickey and Minnie, but you got to remember on any any of these series, action figures, GI Joe, Batman. Sometimes the villain, and I learned this on the Stretch Armstrong. For those of you that are old enough, the villain they made a villain. It was a dragon or a lizard or something. It didn't sell very well. That lizard is worth. 80 times more than Stretch Armstrong because not many people wanted it. When you're a kid, you don't want the lizard, you want Stretch Armstrong. Same with these things. They want the more famous items. They don't want the, the lower end or the, the items that are, or the characters that are not popular. Anyways, guys, there's your tip. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I've got to go thrifting. Um, I'll do another video later today or tomorrow and I'll show you what I find. A big thumbs up if you can. Subscribe if you can. All my new subscribers, thank you. I will put the Chris's Treasure Chest logo over here. If you hit that, you will get automatically subscribed. Just subscribe. There's a little bell underneath this window. It's about right about here. Click it off and you will get alerted every time I make a new video. Anyway, guys, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. I hope you have a great day. Nine days left of Christmas. Keep listing, keep listing, keep selling. Let's make some money.